Wait, so why do you think I'm going to be weak? Because I'm a woman. No, not because you're a woman. Because... Okay, yeah, because you're a woman. And... You're going to... Why don't we just do the that? The sound isn't going to be as good. Yeah, you can do that, but I can't do that. That's fine. I'll just be over here. I've got a bigger chest. So hey guys, my name is Will and I'm here with Brenda. I'm pretty much always at the gym. And I'm not because I only train body weight. How does sending chick work out? The idea today is for Brenda to come into the gym, my domain. We're going to see where she's weak, where she's strong. Where I'm weak? Yeah, he's pretty much going to try and figure out what my weaknesses are. And they're going to be a few, and Thanks. then we'll do the opposite. I'll do a street style workout, calisthenics, and we'll see where my weaknesses are. Here's pull ups. I can do pull ups. Anyway, let's get on with the video, <laughs> see what Brenda's got and what she hasn't got. Woo! Okay, so first thing we're going to do for Brenda is where I think she's going to be the absolute weakest, at least relatively weak. That's going to be on the bench press. So if we come over here, this is where I learned to bench press. This is my favorite bench in the entire world. And like, I used to train at this gym and I don't anymore. So now that I'm here, I just kind of want to just enjoy <laughs> the moment and just say thank you. Thank you for all the great memories. And um, yeah, it's going to be good to be back on this bench training on it and seeing how well Brenna gets. Now, little, little information here, okay? As far as I understand it, when it comes to muscle groups, the differences between men and women relative, so like equal sized man and woman, the chest, the pec muscles are where we have the greatest deviation. So men's chest muscles are far larger than women's on average. And this really translates into the bench press where it's all about the chest, it's all about this big boy here. And in particular, the clavicular head is the one that's very large on men and women barely have it. So it's gonna be interesting to see where Brenda starts on this and where she finishes. And uh, yeah, let's load up some plates and get into it. Wait, so why do you think I'm gonna be weak? Because I'm a woman. No, not because you're a woman. Because, okay, yeah, because you're a woman. And women have smaller pec muscles than men, uh, pound for pound. And that's okay, we're different. We're okay. different. We're different. We are different. <laughs> and if you're not weak, then you're going to blast out a massive PR on this. Right, I think six. you're going to do 40 kilos, and I 40 don't kilos. think you can do more than 40 kilos. I think you will not do more than 40 today. I'm going to do 42 kilos, everyone. Let's see if she can do 42 kilos. Have you ever benched before? Uh, once, maybe. Once, maybe. So no. But like But one... you do push-ups? Yes, I do okay. push-ups. All right. But All right. I haven't in a while because of my injury. Excuses. Ah. And now Brenda's under the bench and she's going to try 30 kilos to start with. Oh, I got a big belt. Okay, easy peasy. <laughs> so Brenda smashed 30. She thinks she's staunch now. She's what? a world class bencher. I don't think that, I think 40 she might get. She reckons she might be able to do body weight. If she can do a 60 kilo bench, I'm going to give her 100 Australian dollars. 100 dollars? That's what I'm give doing her. it. If she can do 60. Yeah. Just this for be, 100 this is, bucks. This is, a, this is 100 buck. I got a wedgie. <laughs> <laughs> this is a 100 buck bench press. You got it, girl. Let's go. Come on. Prove me wrong. We'll give you that rep. Oh, yikes. Well done. So right. what's next on finding out my weaknesses? Um, so just to recap, I'm very impressed. Um, finding someone who doesn't train bench, who can do essentially a body weight bench, which I'm happy to call that with one kilo off body weight bench, is um, very, very impressive. Very, very, very high props to Brenda for that. Um, now we're going to do some shoulder stuff. So we're going to do some overhead pressing with dumbbells, mm -hmm. you're going to struggle here. This is going to be struggle view, especially because I think you have a dodgy imbalance and we're going to see exactly what that I looks do. like. So let's have a head over to the dumbbell area and see how Brenda does with overheads. So we're going to start Brenda on, I think, 10 kilo dumbbells to start with, seated overhead, and we'll see how that goes. So we're going to go here, we're going to kick them up to here like this, and we're going to go like that. And that's all I want Brenda to do. I want Brenda to do one rep of that. How many reps do you reckon I could do? I think with 10, you could probably do four or five reps. I reckon I could do 10 reps. I'm not going to bet money on it because I've already lost 100 today, but... Okay. We'll see. <laughs> Ready for 10 reps? Four. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good job. Ten. Let's go. <laughs> oh, okay. We got a show off. <laughs> I see how it is. 13. Save some juice, girl. You gotta go up and wait. So Brenda smashed the 10. She's gone up to 12.5. I think she's 17. gonna underestimate these. 17.5. 17.5, sorry, yeah, 17.5. <laughs> you're gonna underestimate these. I think you're gonna struggle on these. How many do you reckon I'll get? Three. Three? Three. All right, let's go four. Oh, actually, I don't know. Ooh. <laughs> we are gonna help you get these up. Let's see it, girl. I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> That's okay. I think the reason why Yeah. Is because you with wait. lower reps, got more endurance. I feel like I have more endurance rather than hypertrophy strength because we don't really train with a lot of weight. Mm -hmm. You know. So, at least demonstrate to a very small degree. At least I'm going to bring it up. Women are capable of training higher reps, closer to their one rep max. So that's the maximum amount that they could do for one rep than men are. So if you took a man that has a 100 kilo 1RM squat, for instance, and a woman who has a 100 kilo 1RM squat, and you put them both on, say, 90 kilos, the woman will be able to train more reps than the man will be able to train. I'm not quite sure why, but the evidence is very, very clear on that. Women have much greater capacity to train closer to their maximal strength than men do. They'll get far more reps. And they're also quicker at recovery as well. So something to think about if you're training as a lady, you can push slightly closer towards that 1RM than most guys would. So always think about that when you're devising a training program. All right, here All right. is so the So Will does the 17 kilos that Brenda couldn't. 17.5. Get them to kiss at the top, Will. Yeah, Thank you. you. Boom. All right, let's get some weight. Why did you think I was going to be weak in that? Because women have very little shoulder mass. Whereas guys... Is this a ender video now? Yeah, yeah, Nothing to do with so street workout. What I want you to do is turn the camera around, right, and face it towards the mirror and flip it so you can see us. And I want you to compare. I'm going to come closer to you. Look at the shoulder differences. Yeah, my shoulders are huge. <laughs> but mine are huger, right? And that's what allows me to do that. Because I have big muscles. Okay. And you are big, but you're just not as big. He's calling me fat now. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not fat shaming. He's not a fat shamer. He just is Will. So now we're going to move on to some leg stuff. We've done shoulders, we've done chest. I think Brenda's next major weakness is going to be, let's not call it a weakness, let's call it an area that can be improved, okay? I'm trying <laughs> to be positive thinking. <laughs> Will be the lying leg curl. So this machine is pretty much all hamstring. I think you get a tiny amount of glute involvement, but this machine is essentially designed just to isolate your hamstrings as much as possible. Calisthenics doesn't really have too much where this is activated. Um, Brenda has nice legs and she does have a bit of hamstring activity going on, but we need more. And need more. <laughs> this is where a machine like this can come in handy and really start to get that leg thickness that we want and get those hammies looking like a juicy piece of ham. You just wanted to show off your legs. I didn't. Let's tense. How do my hamstrings come through actually? How does that look? Mm. Can you see the separation? Like here? No, I can't see anything. You can't see anything? I can't see anything. That sucks. <laughs> I'm kidding. Look oh. good. Looks good. Thank you. All right. We're like, we're not many pins deep. We're going to see where Brenda caps out at. So this is my first time ever on this. <laughs> but I have seen this on Instagram. She's seen it on IG, folks. Which means I'm gonna be real good. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. How many reps do you think you've got in you? I don't know. This feels weird. This feels so unnatural. Maybe 10. Okay. But well, this really burns. It's a great machine. And that's what you'll find out a lot at the gym is that the machines are designed to really maximize the potential of the muscle that you're using so that it burns very, very Yeah, bright. so that's 10. And you're gassed? No, I think I can do more, then but I don't want to. Whoa, those muscles. Feels good, right? Have not really been worked very much. Feels good? <laughs> I guess so, if you like the you like feeling the burn? of burning. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Which I yeah. do sometimes, but usually my arms instead. <laughs> you just wanted to flex. I didn't. Just wanted to show off your biceps. So just thinking about it now, I don't really train calves that much, but I imagine that in calisthenics it's even 
rarer and harder to train because it doesn't get like any activation. I guess you get a little bit of calf activation in squatting because you do have um, a hinge at your ankle. So it's gonna be interesting to see calf raises on Brenda because I don't think she'd have any calf development past a woman the same size as her, you know? And, uh, but yeah, we'll see. Check that out. They are big though. Like, how are you doing that? What is I don't that? know. I actually don't know. I think it's more genetic than anything, if I'm being Cuffs completely are honest. pretty <laughs> genetically determined. My ex had really huge calves. She never trained. Oh, so that's, whoa. That's... This, this machine looks kind of scary. It's sussy, right? I'm not like... used to machinery. What are you doing, locking me in? Um, that's not enough. We need to get you down a level. <laughs> how's that? How does that feel? So if, we, so if I unload that, how's that? Whoa! Oh, so I like. And then now you now you have to here. lift up with your calves. Yep. Oh, only my left calf is working. Well, that's not very good. Are you, how's that weight? Oh, maybe my left calf is just weak. Yeah, I think it's all right. Well then let's go, girl. What are you doing? This is such a weird feeling. And I feel so weird sitting here and just lifting my legs up. <laughs> like, what do you do at the gym? This. Try and extend it even higher. Try and really push off. I can't. Your calves are looking good though. I'm doing the very best I can. <laughs> I'm impressed. You got nice calves. Thank you. More. <laughs> Stop playing with them. Do more reps. Ow. More wrong. Is that it? You're out of juice? She's out of juice. This really hurts. <laughs> Oh, I feel my quads working as well. No, nah, they shouldn't be working. They shouldn't. No, nah, well, they're trying to help no out these. There's no reason why they would work. They're trying to help all. these little boys. They're little girls, aren't they? Oh, sorry. No, this one's a little boy. This one's a little girl. Which one's stronger? I feel this one more, so that might mean it's weaker. I so reckon you're my right. Are weak. I reckon my right. The boy is weak and the girl is strong. This yeah. one. This baby. This baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Brenda wants to try the dump truck ass barbell rolling on the floor challenge because with it's the not 20s. Work. Turn around and then lie down. Yeah, and then I'm going to push the weight over you, okay? Okay. Oh, girl, you're going to fail miserably. I know. I'm sorry. Know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you failed. You failed the, dump, the dumpy up. challenge. <laughs> okay, it's my turn. Your turn? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh man. I want to I want to know if I've losing. got a dump truck us. Well, you do. Okay, ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Don't lift your head up. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Dang. That's what you're trying to get right there. Ugh. That's why you squat, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Doing with Brenda cuz our camera's about to run out our um glute raises, glute bridges. I actually not too sure what it's called. Glute thrusts. Yeah, and this is what the big booty bitches do. I see this done all the time. Apparently, it's actually do not really do good this exercise. Stuff. This is how you get a fat dump truck ass. We just did the challenge, and I won. I have a bigger dumpy than oh, Brenda. This is quite challenging. My left glute is definitely stronger than my right. Can we get down lower? You want that full rom, baby? Let's go. Yep, that's it. You don't have to hold it, but just get nice and low. Slide in here like a little creep. Oh, I wasn't done yet. I'm weak. Have fun? Yeah. Okay, let's wrap it up and Whoa. get out of here. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hello. B Rabbit and I, that's Brenda, um, we just finished up now. our little workout thing. We wanted to see where she's at, where she's strong, where she's weak. I was really impressed with my bench press. I owe 100 bucks. <laughs>